Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing, you guys. I am sick and tired of wearing these stupid masks, and I'm so glad that Turtle Wax came out with a product that's going to clean and disinfect the inside of our cars so we can have confidence in knowing that the coronavirus doesn't stand a chance. And that's with their brand new multi purpose cleaner and disinfectant. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so Turtle Wax unveiled several new products this year. One of the new products is the multi-purpose cleaner and disinfectant. Of course, they had coronavirus on their mind, just like everybody else in the entire world right now wants to know how we can get rid of it, how we can stay safe from it, and it also will kill many more things. Uh, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. If used properly and the way the directions state, it will get 24 hours worth of sanitizing out of a vehicle, and that is really cool because it says right there, 24-hour surface sanitizing action. Um, on the back of the bottle, it gives you directions on how to kill certain things. Um, so just for instance, it says, if you want to kill the coronavirus, let it dwell on the surface for one minute before wiping it up. Um, to disinfect and deodorize, spray on the surface until thoroughly wet. Surface must remain wet for the appropriate contact time listed on the label. And that's what I just read you there a minute ago about the coronavirus. Uh, it says to sanitize though, to spray on the surface until thoroughly wet, let stand for 10 seconds and then wipe dry. Pretty easy. I have used this. It smells amazing. Um, to sanitize for 24 hours, it says to spray on the surface until thoroughly wet, let stand for five minutes, wipe dry, reapply if surface is rinsed. So if you have to, for some reason, wipe it, uh, reapply, or you have to put a cleaner on it, something for some reason. And then to control mold and mildew for up to seven days, Spray on the surface until thoroughly wet, allow to air dry and reapply if surface is rinsed. So it tells you exactly what you need to do for the situation that you may be in. Obviously, most people right now are going to buy this product um, because of the coronavirus, because that's what we're all going through right now. Um, I know you can buy this at Walmart. Turtle Wax did send this to me, so that makes it a sponsored video. Uh, I'm gonna say, it says it's non-staining, non-corrosive, non-harsh chemical smell, which it doesn't. It smells amazing. No bleach, no alcohol, and it says no need for gloves. Kills cold and flu viruses, kills the 2009 H1N1 and influ influenza A virus, um, coronavirus, rotavirus, and norovirus. Kills salmonella, uh, staph, staph infection, I'll just say that, <laughs> listeria, uh, uh, many, many things. There's a whole list, but to kill the influenza A virus, one minute. Coronavirus is one minute. Um, rotavirus is two minutes. I mean, there's a whole thing. Bacteria, sal salmonella, one minute. Uh, there's just a whole list. I'm not gonna go through all of them right here of how to kill it. And if you do it by the way they tell you to do it, then it's going to kill what you're trying to kill. What I found interesting when they did the unveiling of this, which I was at the unveiling for it, it was all online because of coronavirus, unfortunately. But when they unveiled this product, I wanna say that they said that the average steering wheel is 80 times dirtier than a toilet. And when they told us that, it means your hands are touching everything, that is disgusting. I mean, that just, that's just nasty to even think about. And when they told us that, I think we all had about the exact same reaction. It was like, ugh. <laughs> so I was very interested to get this. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys me using it. I'm going to use it on our 2017 Dodge Journey. The interior is clean for the most part because we keep it clean. But let's spray it on there. I have not done it on this car. Let's spray it on there. Um, we're going to let it dwell for one minute because right now everybody's worried about coronavirus. We're going to let it dwell for one minute. And then we're going to wipe it off and we're going to look at the surface and see what it looks like. So it says on the back of the bottle to use on a hard, non-porous, non-food contact surface, and also says to pre-clean heavily soiled areas first. So if you have a really nasty dashboard or steering wheel that you're, you're cleaning and it is really bad, you're going to have to go and clean it first before using the cleaner and disinfectant. Uh, another thing about Turbox products that you guys know I absolutely love right there, it is made in the U.S. of A. You guys know me. I absolutely love that right there. I have used this product before, as I said earlier. It smells amazing. It works great. It doesn't leave any shine to the surface or anything like that. You guys are going to notice on the journey because the panels on this car are really clean. Um, they're not disinfected though yet. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to show you guys what it can do on that. And it's black paneling. So you can really see uh, what it does to it. And I will tell you that there's these little fake leather uh, parts of the door that no matter what cleaner I use, um, if I spray anything on there and let it sit for a minute and then wipe it, it can leave some streaking. I get that out of my other cleaners from other companies, so just be aware of that if it shows that on the door. But I know how to get it off. I just spray again and then wipe again with the product that I'm using, and it goes away. Now, 
A lot of you are going to say, well, how do you know it kills the coronavirus? I, I don't know. I'm taking uh, Turtle Wax's word for it. Obviously, you can't see coronavirus. You can't see staph infection or any other thing that may be on the surface of your car. But Turtle Wax has been around for a long time. Mike and the gang do an awesome job of developing and testing these products. And to be able to put on there that it's 99.9% .9 effective on germs, and it has the, I, I'm going to say this wrong, but Biotrol technology, um, they have to get the approval showing that this will kill what it's going to kill. And that's why they give you a time frame on the back. Just go by what the time frame shows. All right, so let me show you guys what the door looks like right now before cleaning. This is the part that I'm talking about. Every time I use any type of cleaner, no matter what company it's from, this fake leather crap, and even right here, it can streak. So please keep that in mind. But as you can see, the door is really clean. The switches and everything are really clean. Nothing, I'm not really worried about cleaning, but it is a cleaner. So we'll probably use it on other parts of the car. In fact, on my daughter's side, and show you how it cleans. But as you can see, it looks really good. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna spray it on there. I'm gonna set a timer. And we're gonna figure out, we're gonna go just over a minute. Just like it says in the directions. Let me get my timer set up. So I got the timer set up. I'm gonna spray it on, I'm gonna shake it up first. Now what I do is when I spray it on here, if it gets on like the glass or anything, I just go ahead and I wipe it up off the glass. But other than that, I mean, I spray it liberally. Timer has started. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to wipe off the glass where I got it. Show you guys what it looks like. What's really cool about this product is it clings. It slowly comes down, as you can see. Now, see, this is all backwards to me because I don't normally spray on the surface when I do anything. Cleaning it smells amazing. Um, I normally spray on my towel, but this is a disinfectant. So obviously it needs to be able to dwell to do the job that it needs to do. So I'll put you in time lapse to get through the rest of this. All right, so there's a minute and a half. So that's a little bit longer. They said one minute to kill coronavirus. So let me show you guys what the surface looks like and then we'll wipe it up. You see it's nice and wet, completely covered, nice and shiny because it is wet. So I'm gonna take a clean towel. I'm gonna wipe it in just like I do any other cleaner or detailer. all these switches because you remember you you touch your switches now don't douse your switches but it's not going to hurt it you guys have to remember I've had people say in other videos of mine um, there's a video where I did a window protectant uh, a sealant from glass glass sealant you know, oh man you ruined that guy's switches it got water on it no I didn't um, these are made these have gaskets they have seals in them you don't want to sit here and pour water on it but a little bit of overspray ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, so there's the first wipe. And I, what I do is I follow it up with a second. Now, obviously when you soak this, you're gonna have a little bit in there. You can take a blow gun, which is what I would normally do. I, I don't have it over here right now, but I will do it in a little bit. I, I forgot to set that up when I, made, when I did this video. And basically I'm just going around and get anything that I may have missed. See if there's any streaking, as you can see. It still looks just like it did. It didn't leave any shine to it. This is the panel. See, it's kind of blotchy right here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. Every product I use on this door is just, oh man. I just, whatever Dodge uses, this fake crap is just junk. Um, yeah, it's like right there. What I can do, I can either take a wet rag, like this one, go back over it, On my car at least as you see that's gone uh, door panel looks awesome looks really good it looks just like it did before I even did the cleaner and disinfectant make sure you wipe up your switches really good obviously the most important parts are where you're gonna be touching as far as making sure it's disinfected but your handles your switches and then your actual door release handle up here um, but yeah this door is good to go okay so now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna use it as a cleaner this is my daughter's side my seven-year-old 
None of the other parts of the car have this mud. <laughs> but for some reason, hers does. Sorry, it's as far open as I can get the door. I really don't have a light. As you can see, there is mud all over here. So how she gets it, I have no idea. But this is going to be the cleaning, basically, and deodorizing part of this product because we're not going to let it dwell. We're just going to spray it on. Use the wet towel. We're basically using it as a cleaner, multi-purpose cleaner. Follow that behind it with a dry towel. And buff it off. Let me get my phone light so you guys can see. I guess I should have done that a minute ago. There we go. Okay, let me get you off without dropping you. As you can see, it looks perfect. There's no shine to it at all, which is what I want. I want my dash in plastics inside my car to look like they did when they rolled off the assembly line so that is perfect now i got to clean that mat here soon but that's part of my cleaning today okay you guys so inside the car we're going to go ahead and we're going to disinfect the steering wheel this is a leather steering wheel um we do want to get this disinfected because obviously your hands are touching this and like i said at the beginning of the video turtle wax says that the average steering wheel is 80 times dirtier than the, a toilet <laughs> which is still mind-blowing to me um when it comes to like the dashboard and stuff like that we're going to just spray and we're going to let it dwell uh, just for a few seconds and then wipe. I'm not worried about sanitizing, you know, getting rid of coronavirus on the dashboard because it's not something that we touch or anything like that. So you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, when you do like a steering wheel, and I'm going to show you in this video, is I'm going to show you doing probably the steering wheel, and then we'll just clean the dash so you can see what the dash looks like. And that'll be about it. But I'm going to grab my wet towel. That's what I'm going to do because I don't want to spray this all over my dashboard. And I'm just going to spray the steering wheel. Basically, this, this is probably the hardest part, is doing something like this. Basically, where your hands are going to be touching. I guess there's no really foolproof way to do this, because you're going to get soaked no matter what it looks like. This stuff smells good, but it does smell like a cleaner. Yeah, see, so since I sprayed it on the here, it's actually going around the steering wheel and it's covering. Let me see the back side is wet. Can you see it? Is it wet? Mm -hmm. Yep. The back side's wet, so we're gonna let it sit here for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna wipe up my buttons just because these aren't really meant to get really wet here on the steering wheel. They're not like window switches. And, and I can do it to, to this as well, so I might as well. The airbag or the horn. This is not something I'm doing all the time. Uh, this is for those situations may become flu season because uh, of the coronavirus, stuff like this. Um, this is really the only time that I'm really worried about killing anything that's in here. But definitely flu season uh, if coronavirus ever comes back or anything like that, obviously. But... Okay, so that's been about a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, that's been about a minute on the steering wheel. We're just gonna wipe it in. This steering wheel still feel, feels brand new. I have kept this in the best shape that I can keep it in. But for us touching it, you know, all the time when we're driving, this leather still feels like it did the day we bought it. And we bought this car brand new. Okay. We're going to take the dry one and go back over it. Junior is the cameraman, by the way. My son. Put my microphone. I'm kind of moving my microphone around a bunch doing this. Hopefully it's not messing it up. You guys aren't hearing my shirt rubbing up against my microphone. Okay. That looks really good. It looks just as good as it did. Let me see the camera so I can show them really good. It looks just as good as it did before we started. No shine to it. This is what I want my leather steering wheels to look like. This is what I want my entire car to look like. That looks good. As you can see right there. That looks good. So next thing we're going to do, you can see there's some dust up here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Is that about it? There's just dust. I'm not trying to kill anything up here. Obviously, I just said that a minute ago. So what I'm going to do is basically clean and deodorize it. 
even though there's not really a smell to our in our car still has the new car smell but i'm not going crazy on like the dashboard that's it i'm just coming in here and i'm wiping we're just going to clean the surface bear with me just a second my microphone just fell down So that's the wet one. We're gonna come back in with the dry. All right, show them what that looks like. You guys can see, no gloss to it at all. You're seeing my ceiling lights on this black dash, but it looks like a brand new dashboard, which is exactly like I said, I've said this several times in this video, that is what I want when I am doing, um, cleaning my car or anybody else's car. I don't want a fake look, I want a natural look when it comes to dashboards and door panels and stuff like that. That's what I want. And that's that, that's perfect right there. Now, I'll probably let it dwell for the next 24 hours or so just, just because, um, just to make sure it's good. And then I'll throw like a UV protectant on it. But I think that if, if you're a business, once you go past that one minute for the coronavirus, so that, that's what you're trying to disinfect, that's what your customer wants, then you know do the whole car. And then by the time you do your whole car, you should be able to apply some type of dressing because you need a UV blocker on your dashboard you have to have a uv blocker on your dashboard otherwise the sun is going to beat the crap out of it and it's going to start cracking and then once it starts cracking it looks terrible it gets really brittle so uh that's very important to do but cleaning and disinfecting with the turtle wax cleaner and disinfectant super easy pepsi so good after a long day cleaning turtle wax multi-purpose cleaner and disinfectant you guys it's simple uh, it's very easy. They made it a very versatile product that you can use as a cleaner and deodorizer. So all you do is spray it on and wipe it off. You can use it as a disinfectant. Uh, whatever it says on the back, one minute. Let it dwell for one minute for whatever you're trying to kill. And that's it. Wipe it up. Uh, if you want to try to control mold and mildew uh, for seven up to, up to seven days, let it air dry on the surface. So like I said, very versatile product, very easy product. Smells great doesn't leave a finish, a matte finish, a sheen of any type on the surface. The panels still look just like I want them to look like uh, when I get done cleaning the inside of my car. Not much more to talk about when it comes to something like that. Turtle Wax, great job. This, this is an awesome product. So before Turtle Wax actually sent this to me, I had actually bought it at Walmart. Um, I think I paid $7 for it. So I'll put links in the description of the video where you can find it on Amazon. If I can find it on Amazon, it'll be in my Amazon store. Um, and also Turtle Wax's website. And don't forget, you can go to Walmart and stuff like that. Uh, one thing it's always, always great about Turtle Wax are the prices of their products. Uh, they do not overprice their products. I think their prices are always on point. Their products, they, they do work. And they're a fantastic company. I love working with them. Uh, I appreciate uh, the Turtle Wax crew for all the testing, all the research they do, reaching out to guys like me, wanting to use their products, um, letting us test them. And I absolutely love that about the company. And it's USA made. And they're only like three hours down the road from me, which is also also very, very cool. One of these days, I'm going to get up there. I'm going to visit. I'm going to take the camera and bring you guys along. And I cannot wait for that day. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this video out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.